I'm legally blind during the daytime, and at night, it's completely blind. I saw the shoes were like so big. Wait, this is starting to make sense to me. I couldn't see the runway. She just threw it down. This is borderline dangerous, to be honest with you. Today, I'm reacting to a runway challenge that's pr almost in the dark, and one of the models happens to be legally blind and can barely see in the dark. So let's take a look, shall we? Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. I think we're lacking. In the red it's shoes. grace and elegance. <laughs> Jennifer, I don't feel like I don't grace in any of his bones. There's no lightness to her. It's almost. Yeah, it's almost like she's walking. Miss Sakara. You know you're plus size. Sucker gut, baby. Anything hanging out? It looks nasty. Christy, I think. Um, what? Weren't we supposed to be learning about posture and runway? I didn't know this was a roast of her body. It's nasty that you said that to her. That's what's really nasty. They're always going to find a way to sneak in an insult. It's just going to happen. If it hasn't happened in the first... This is the first six minutes of the episode. Already one girl is called nasty, pretty much. For what? She's just, she's literally doing the exercise that he's telling them to do, which is just walking. Christy, I think that her look is quite dead. She needs to come alive. She needs to smile with her face. You are serving a plate of steam and a bowl of nothing. I know I wasn't very oh good. Oh my God. It's because I was thinking so much. Where, where can There's we, what restaurant of... is that? What restaurant has that? A plate of steam and a bowl of nothing. Kind of like this show. Right here, listen. Everything that I taught you, you will be tested on it. Because remember, this is a competition. A competition. Of course. And for being such good sports, I'm taking you on to a private fight tonight. With money? That's With money? Okay. Simple models out on a town okay. having a Is there going to be food? Time. Will there be okay. pizza? Okay, no one, no one answered that. That's fine. I'm going to assume that there's food. Otherwise, why? what's the point of going? You want me to leave the comfort of my home to a place that has no pizza? No. He says they're going to be tested on this, which means they're going to be put probably in front of an audience and laughed at somehow. Somehow, they're going to have fire coming out from the sides or a dragon. You have to run from the dragon while looking fabulous. I don't know. If I don't see we food, get to a club like a dance club, and people were waiting out front, and we're like, "Huh, this is weird." Right over this way, girls. We walk into this room. And then Wait. I'm like, no, I just turn my head. Is this is this the challenge? Is this the the test? They told them that they're gonna do, a they 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 told them that they're gonna go out and have fun. Watch them turn this into the test. Did they lie? They're lying. They're lying. I swear. My favorite designers in the whole world. Heather Rett is standing right in front of me. I want you How guys cute. to meet my friends. My friend, Richie Rett, Trevor Reigns from my house. I'm hanging Oh, that's so cool. And so guys, tell the girls. Do they, they get do they get the clothes as prizes? No, we all know. Why did I say that out loud? I know it's not true. There's do they ever get anything decent? No. They they I don't know why I said that. Okay. Delete that from the universe. Let's continue. Some of the people that you've addressed, some of the most fabulous things. Tyra. Work, yeah, Jessica Parker, Paris Hilton. Paris Hilton. I love the way Paris Hilton dresses, and I love Paris Hilton. Gwen Stefani, Aerosmith, oh, Nicole yeah. Kidman, Courtney Love. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> some of these names they've been dropping. Lots of <laughs> Their show was usually the hottest ticket in town during New York Fashion Week. It's so hot that I don't get a ticket. Oh. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> But guess what, girls? You are starring in it. <laughs> what? Okay, oh, wow. Makeup. Your team awaits you. Wow. Okay. On. That is the first time I've ever seen the girls that excited to do any kind of show or challenge. I've never seen the girls react like this ever. Uh, but I love to see it. I love that. I love that they're so excited. Look at this. Everyone's laughing. Okay. Everyone's smiling. Nore look at Norella even is like, oh, thank God. They're not going to put a tarantula on us or they're not going to sprinkle us with cockroaches. This is great. This is great. I Very rare. Very rarely do I get to see the girls this excited on America's Next Top Model. The theme of this show is the Circus of Panic. So <laughs> The Circus of Panic. panic. I like that. Enthusiasm. It wouldn't convey anything on the runway. <laughs> I am so stoked. As long as I see 
keep the runway in before, I'll be cool. There's nothing baby here. That's not going to happen. Paris Hilton. Hold on. One of the girls was like, as long as I see the runway before, I'm going to be okay. That's not going to happen. And that will never happen. Okay. You're going to have to just pray, say a prayer and hope that you're not going to cross a falling bridge. Maybe they'll have to walk on Legos for a runway. I just gave them an idea. <laughs> The Lego runway. Don't be surprised if they use my idea for a future episode. Today you're going to be doing a runway and walking on Legos barefoot. Good luck, everyone. That Just know that I came up with that, huh? Just know it was me. Paris Hilton. Holy crap. Make That's really cool. We're starting in 10 minutes. All the girls dressed and ready. They look really cool. I'm excited. We're gonna rock it. So we That's have to walk on that cool. runway. It's like this. <laughs> <laughs> Could I take a peek at the runway? Right now, no. You're gonna have to get into your first outfit. I don't think I'm gonna get a chance to see it beforehand. So uh, that kind of sucks. I'm oh. legally blind. She has a vision impairment, and that's why she wants to know about the runway so that she can see where she's walking. I think she absolutely should. I don't I don't see why they couldn't make the time to just give her like a run through, a quick run through. Because again, she has she's legally blind during the daytime and she told us about this earlier in the episode. I have a degenerative disease retinitis pigmentosa and eventually I will be completely blind. Modeling will promote certain challenges. I'm not going to let it affect me because I don't want it to. She absolutely should be able to see the runway. That is crazy. Uh, that kind of sucks. I'm legally blind during the daytime and at night it's completely blind. I saw the shoes were like so big. Wait. Okay. This is starting to make sense to me. They have a runway path that is jagged, okay? And they're not letting her see the runway. The, the legally blind contestant see it before so that she feels safe. And she has an impairment. That's crazy to me. They don't care about the liability. It seems like they don't care what really could happen. The runway is in this dark environment. We have some spotlights coming in. It's dark. And then it, it like turns a corner. It's not even like a straight path. Is Jigsaw coming out with his tricycle any anytime soon from here? Perhaps he just rides in he's like hi everyone i designed this runway for amanda just for amanda because i know she can't see anything in the dark i made sure that it was in the dark of course the shoes are like so big we didn't get to see the runway at all then the shoes are ridiculous i was like oh my god with those shoes i mean i understand they didn't want me to have a unfair advantage but i'm just trying to get up to the same playing field as everybody else eva okay eva, but she on. wouldn't she wouldn't have an advantage because she's already at a disadvantage because she's legally blind and she can't see. On top of all of this, did everyone see the heels that they're putting the girls in? Those are not the same heels that they practiced with right before this for the first time. Those are not the same height. Oh my God. But now they're putting them in like 10 inch heels, okay? In the dark with a curved runway and zigzaggy runway with one girl who has a vision impairment. This is absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy. This is borderline dangerous, to be honest with you. To fall in heels like that, God knows where you're falling. You don't even know where you're falling. At least let her see where she's going to fall. Like, give her a little tour. Like, you're going to you're gonna uh, crack your skull right here. You're going to break your foot over on this uh, corner right here. At least give me a heads up <laughs> so I'm prepared. Does anyone else think this is absolutely crazy or is it just me? Eva. Okay, Eva's coming. I need Cassie. I'll go. I need Amanda. I'm getting scared now. I don't want to fall off the runway. Remember, this is a challenge, and everything you do from this point on, you're going to be judged on. That's very, uh, very motivational. No pressure or anything, but I am going to scream this at the top of my lungs right before you guys exit here. Okay, have fun with your tendon shows. Don't fall off and, and break your body. Because we're not going to cover that. <laughs> Definitely not. We are going to send you home and blame you. Okay, Amanda, are you ready to not be able to see anything? Good luck. We know you are blind. <laughs> it's not our problem. Okay. Have fun out there. Yeah, in the dark. Okay, you guys, fly up. 
everyone was like so excited because we were doing a fashion show for Heatherette and it was a challenge. Wow. Girls, at the end of the runway, you have to step up on the round circular stage, pose and walk around it. Having really Did bad they practice that? And then at night. Um, Wait, hold on, hold on. He's he's screaming out instructions for what the girls are supposed to do at the end of the runway right before they're about to walk on the runway that they don't what, know what it even looks like. And one model has a vision impairment. I'm just, this is crazy to me. That's crazy. Am I supposed to watch this and be like, yeah, she'll be okay. It's not a big deal. Not a big deal. Or am I supposed to be a little concerned? Because sometimes I'll get comments where people say that I will try to like find any little thing and say that, you know, Jessica, that's too, you know, you're looking too much into it. But then they do stuff like this. So I don't know, you guys, which, what is it? Which one is it? Having really bad daytime vision and then at night, I'm basically completely blind. It was really, really scary. Jennifer, now! I was so nervous. All right, everybody get ready. Now we gotta go, you're first up. Wow. Let's go, Eva. Wow. Okay, Eva. I'm so high being on stage. But I'm short. I love runway. It's so fly to me. I need that is fabulous. Wow. This, that look is so cool. I need Anne. No wow. Problem. Amazing. I love these looks. I need Nicole. Everyone's doing really good. Sakara. Amazing. Oh my god, she looks so good. I love the crowd. I love to hear everyone cheer. I love to be spotlight. I like to be the center of attention. I love to be a showstopper, so I love it. Takara actually disclosed this to me that she thought she was gonna win because she got a lot of applause. <laughs> Gotta pause because your titties are out, girl. I don't know about that. That whole look was amazing. Oh my god. How is she gonna remove that at night? How how is she gonna take that out of her hair? That's what I'm wondering. After this show is done, how are they gonna get that out? Lots of guys that is such a cool there, show. Like, you can totally see up my skirt. I know you can. And you get higher when you get up on the circle. I was just like, get me off the circle, get me what? down away from here. Do they not have the girls wearing anything under? Okay, see. Okay, yeah, I guess you could say that the runway shows they don't care what the girls are wearing. Okay, fine. Me personally, as a photographer, I care, so that's just me personally. Nobody's falling down yet, right? I need Amanda. Not yet. I couldn't see the runway. People wouldn't even tell me the number of steps leading up to the runway. I was really surprised. Of course, of course they wouldn't because they don't want you to do well. They want you to fall. They want something to happen. That's my opinion. People wouldn't even tell me the number of steps leading up. That, that should say it all, you guys. That statement alone just says it all. They don't want her to know the number of steps. They don't want her to know anything about the runway because they want her to fall on that runway, in my opinion. That's just my opinion. They're ready to see her do a slip and slide on this runway. I really hope that she's gonna be okay and I pray that she doesn't fall. I was really surprised. As soon as I hit that first step, I saw that the runway had glitter all over. I was like, thank you, because the glitter saved me. Okay. Wait. It feels so good. That, I'm. I I'm speechless. I'm speechless right now. Amanda, you have done the impossible. Amanda, I don't think you realize what you just did. They set this up for her. They were tr Don't try to convince me that, you know, this was just an innocent runway. No, 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 no. They tried to set her up and she it backfired on them. It backfired. I don't know. This is suspicious. This whole situation. The designer made a comment. Did anyone fall yet? And no one had fell. So did they want that to happen? Were they curious to see if their plan has worked yet? Did anyone happen to fall? Anyone who can't see? Anyone who's legally blind? Did anyone? No, she did. God damn it! That was that's probably the reaction. It wow. feels so good that I got to be in the show. I mean, this it's like is so cool. The, the, the designers are awesome. Wow. She just 
slow it down. Did my biggest dream, Heather? Why are they laughing? Worst it's nightmare, the falling. All in the same oh night. Oh my god! Wait, wait. Did they? They looked way too excited to see a model fall down on their runway show. It wasn't the model that they planned for, but it was a model overall. As long as one of them falls, right? Doesn't ma doesn't matter who it is. My worst nightmare: falling. All in the same night. That's gonna make oh, you a star. Right? I kind of love that he said that. The girls are psyched. They took their first shot. Of you know. Fashion. Also, I like the fact that they talked to her after the fact. Those designers seem so cool. Their designs were amazing. I loved the entire look, the wigs with the makeup. I wish they would have done a photo shoot with the girls like that. It would have been incredible because the designs are just so good. And I again, I love the entire look, the, the colorful wigs. Everything was just so fun to watch. Like this was a fun runway to watch. And I'm so glad that Amanda did not fall. I have to emphasize that because... My girl was set up from the beginning. She was working against so many factors she didn't even know existed. Like, she probably had no idea. Amanda literally foiled the plans of America's Next Top Model, and she doesn't even know it, which is the greatest thing of all. She has no idea. Walking in was fierce, and then, like, boom, 45 minutes later, they're looking at us. Wait your stick. <laughs> See, this is, this is what I should have had today, giving you the walking lesson. When you're in, like, a dimly lit room, what do you it's, see? My peripheral is so bad at night. Like, I'm completely night blind. After the runway was done, I made a mistake by saying to Jay, you know about my eyes, right? The rumor is Amanda's getting special treatment because she's, because she's here. Miss Amanda, if you're getting any kind of special treatment, I don't see it because I was just told of your condition. I wasn't allowed to see the and runway I said, beforehand. No, nobody can see it. So you blame but her. But if you're going to be a model and you're going to do this, you know what I mean? Yeah, and I took, That's you true. know, I did my thing out there without seeing it, you know? I'm short. My shoe was too little. I didn't complain. Like I always say, rumors don't start from nothing. They don't just fall out the sky. On America's Next Top Model, so, they do. I will be announcing the winner Okay, of this wait, challenge. so that exchange was very interesting. Takara says, the rumor is Amanda's getting special treatment. Amanda literally has a walking stick. So, yes, she does require some kind of special treatment in order for her to get through her day-to-day. -day. Just like people with disabilities or certain impairments, of course. Like that, I don't think they're asking for too much to be accommodated for things like that. Now, I think Eva brings up an interesting point. If she's going to be doing runways in the future as a model, she's going to have to account for that because not everyone's going to be able to... Let's be realistic here. Some, some designers or some people booking the runways are not going to care. They're, they're just not going to book her. Uh, or they're going to book her and she's just going to have to figure it out, which, again, that's a really good point. So I'm going to ask you guys, like, what do you guys think uh, of someone with an impairment like that? Do you think that there should be some steps in place? Like, what do you guys think? What's the procedure for something like that? Miss J also says that he was not made aware of Amanda's condition. I don't know. What episode is this? This is episode four. And you don't know that one of your models is legally blind? Surely that would have been brought up, right? How believable is that? Do you guys really think that Miss J didn't know? I'm short. My shoe was too little. I didn't complain. Like I always say, that's not the same thing. From nothing. They don't just fall that's the not sky. the same thing, Eva. I love you, Eva, but that's not that's not comparable at all. I'm short. My shoe is too little. Eva, she's legally blind. She's legally. She needs a walking stick to walk. Do you? It's not the same as you being short. I love you, but this is not it. No, it's just not. Even the mention of her being legally blind, the girls like, came after her a little bit, which I don't think is right. She didn't ask to be vision impaired. You shouldn't think, oh, they get this special treatment because they're disabled or they have an impairment. No, they just want to be like the rest of us and want to get through life like the rest of us, okay? They need certain accommodations, okay? So, I will be announcing the winner of this challenge tomorrow morning, okay? Thank you. Okay, so who won? Thank you. How about that, Amanda? And I don't know how she's talking about she blind when she said she was over there doing this and doing this and it looked like you weren't worried about not saying to me. <laughs> but then in the room, she's like, is this a poem? Ah! The girls think I'm exaggerating my blindness. The main instigators, Eva. I had a dream about her where she was just like being 
Eva, and I beat her ass into the ground. I was like slamming her head well, against the so floor. Funny. She's not. No, she's not. That's why she's so I loud all the time. She's I want someone to dog her about her height. <laughs> I think they're implying that she's exaggerating her impairment, like being legally blind because she did a good job, because she didn't fall. Like they were really expecting her to just do terrible out there. But when she didn't, that's when they started say, thinking like, okay, does she even have an impairment? Because, oh, how can you be legally blind and still walk down a runway? We don't know because we don't, I don't, I'm not visually impaired, okay? I'm not, I'm not going to understand what it's like to have that. And what it's like to need um, a walking stick. I don't think any of us can come to that assumption like, oh, she because she did this, she doesn't really, it's not as bad as she said, it says it is. Just because she did well in the runway doesn't mean that she doesn't have an impairment, that she's not legally blind. That's She probably just got lucky. Thank, I mean, thank God she didn't fall, to be honest. At the end of the day, Amanda didn't get special treatment at all. She was denied from seeing the runway. She did the challenge like every other model. So I don't get why they're even questioning or like mad about any of this stuff. Ask Eva because she brought me mine. Do you know where the laundry came from or where it went? Yeah, Eva brought it. Yeah, and she doesn't know. Amanda was thinking that her belongings were disappearing and that there's a certain someone who had them. I feel that a lot of people in the house don't trust Eva. I'm missing $100. My shirt's gone. My laundry is gone. She's the one that distributed it. I'm missing stuff and I can't figure out what I'm missing exactly, but somebody has it. I'm missing it's production. <laughs> and my laundry's gone. Cause of a certain bitch. Mm. Certain bitch. Certain bitch. Oh no. I don't know if I started the instigation of Eva. But it sucks that the loudest person is also the one that you can't trust. Eva just walks in. She's she gonna walk in on Amanda looking for herself. What are you doing? I'm looking for my bag. Okay, bait one, bait two. She might not want it because they're ugly. I'm not leaving my crystals out. I wasn't necessarily in setting the trap. I just kind of was like, hey, that's a good idea. I'm gonna lose a little cash too. What's a ten dollar bill to catch a bitch? Huh? Bam. I wrote it's not who you think it is on the bill so that if someone did take it we would know who you wouldn't you will never know who because they're behind the detective, cameras detective. <laughs> I'm sorry I've heard from the models on America's Next Top Model allegedly big allegedly okay that production is move stuff around and take stuff allegedly allegedly not confirmed just a theory and so would i be surprised if someone allegedly from production went and took her stuff and put it somewhere so she can think that it's eva i wouldn't be surprised i wouldn't be surprised allegedly i wouldn't allegedly be surprised they don't even have doors okay who's the winner of the runway where's miss j where's miss j with the cash prize to our house to announce who had won the challenge from the Heather at show the night before. Before we continue, today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform for you to build your business and brand online. Whether you're just starting out, you want to manage a growing brand, Squarespace makes it easy to create a beautiful looking website, engage with your audience, and sell anything that you can think of. Squarespace has so many amazing features. You can create your own online store, whether you want to sell physical or digital products. Squarespace has the tools you need to start selling online. You can also handle appointments using Squarespace. You can offer online, in-person, private sessions, workshops, or even group classes. Squarespace provides everything you need to manage your schedule, accept secure payments, send automatic reminders, and beautifully showcase your services and more. How you display your work is really important and Squarespace makes it easy by having so many customizable features. With a click of a slider, you can change how large or small your photos are. You can add space in between each picture. I love how they have so many different options for you to display your work the way you want it to be seen. 
You can start a free trial by going to squarespace.com. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Jessica. Use my offer code Jessica for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. All the information will be in the description. Um, anyway, did you, did you recover from last night? Yeah. Barely. The winner has to choose right away two people to go with her on a yacht. Okay, um, that's not... Here, all day pampering's out. And... I don't hate it. And your host will be picking you up in one hour. Is it Tyra? Jennifer. Be the lighter when you walk. Your feet can't guide you. Jay criticized my walk. It's kind of frustrating because I try my first time and they're like, oh, that sucks. Amanda, you just try to be a little too sexy. Miss Eva, I wish you would have worked a cape just a little bit more. Just a bit more. Miss Anne, you walk like a dude. You're just so damn pretty. Mr. Cara, you held your own baby. You were Miss Crowd Pleaser. But at the same time, I was afraid that puppies were going to get out of the cage. Ooh, I'm so glad. Miss Christie, you look down a lot. Mm -hmm. um, I think I was looking at people. It's so important for you not to do that. I'm feeling like yeah. I Good don't feedback have any so far. Except the man the things that, that I'm doing. Like and Miss Morel, well, I love it that it was your favorite show. And it's your favorite designers. We live for that moment. And you fall down in it. You just tumbled. It was major. So the winner of this competition, the designer didn't because win. you nailed it. And when I say nailed it, is Miss Eva. Oh, yes! She did good. You mm -hmm. nailed she did it. Good. You did, you did yes. all your poses. You worked it out. When I won that competition, I was stoked. I was beyond happy. You could have worked that cape a little bit more, but you did know, she, you hit did it. Did she do a dance in front of all the girls? Okay, I mean, she. to be fair, she did win. Okay, that's how she celebrates. Um, okay, who's she going to pick? Maybe Narelle? I don't know who she's friends with on the show. But I know for a fact, she's definitely not going to pick Amanda. So now you and pick... And a banana. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to go for a long shot here. I'm picking Kelly. Oh, my God, Eva. Love oh that. Oh, my God. I love her reaction. Oh, oh, my God. God. Oh, yeah. So cute. Oh, my love that. Oh, no. If anybody in the house but her had won, we would have been fine. Bikini, but surprise, coincidentally, she won. The one person that everyone didn't want to win ended up winning. I never would have seen this coming, to be honest. Did you? Did you watching this? Did you think, hey, they're going to pick the one girl that everyone is starting to have problems with and let her win? A yacht pampering day? I, when I tell you, I could have never, like, seen that coming.